Hey guys, welcome to the homestead. So it's kind of a nice day out today. I thought we'd go out to the range and have some fun. So we did a video a few months back on snake shot and its effect on fruits and vegetables. And if you want to see that video, I'll put it up at the top, top corner of your screen so you can watch it. But today we're going to try something different. What's the effect of snake shot on cell phones? So here's what we're going to start with today. I got two old cell phones that no longer work. I have the Walter P22 and some CCI shot shells, otherwise known as snake shot. So let's go ahead and give this a whirl and see how it works. Now in my state, like many other states, it's illegal to shoot snakes, venomous or otherwise. Uh, so um, it just happens to be the way it is, is that when we find venomous snakes on our homestead, things like rattlesnakes and copperheads, which are very plentiful, somehow their heads just end up missing. I don't know how that happens. But uh, people often want to know, you know, how effective is snake shot? And so we'll do that again with this video uh, by demonstrating on a different object, so the cell phone. So I'm going to set these cell phones up on the range behind us, and then we're going to go ahead and see how, what the effect is uh, first with 22 shot shell from that P22. So I think we'll begin by going ahead and putting the cell phone leaned up against one of those old propane stove, you know, those little tiny propane stove tanks. And so that'll give it somewhere to hold. And we'll go ahead and shoot from, I don't know, about the same distance that you would normally shoot a snake from. Uh, maybe about a foot and a half, two feet in distance. And then we'll uh, see what the effect is. So let me get my eyes and ears on and we'll get started. Okay, so here we go. As you can see, the battery popped out of the back of the cell phone, uh, but there's no penetration. Turn on the other side and the screen is definitely destroyed and peppered with the snake shot. Let's go ahead and see what it does when you have a normal 22 bullet uh, against a cell phone. Okay, so here's our next target. We'll go ahead and see what a regular 22 round will do to the cell phone and compare the two. Same distance. Here we go. Oh! It did penetrate, absolutely. Oh yeah, there's a clear hole there. You can see through the hole. No doubt about it. Oh my goodness. There's no doubt about that. Lithium battery, definitely penetrated right through it. No doubt about it, went right through the phone. All right, let's try something a little bit more powerful. How about nine millimeter snake shot on a cell phone? Now, if you remember from our last video, you know that the 9mm snake shot is way more powerful than the 22. So let's go ahead and see what this kind of penetration is going to do to the cell phone. Okay, we're at a comfortable distance of about a foot and a half to two feet. Let's go ahead and see what this does. Oh yeah. <laughs> wow, that was devastating amazingly devastating so you turn it around you can see that one or two of the bb's or pellets inside of that shot shell actually penetrated the phone and uh let's take a look at the battery wow that's just uh, that's a mess look at that battery that battery is just hammered yeah you can see one of the pellets went through that battery or hit that battery it didn't penetrate through the other side uh, like the 22 did on the other one, but wow, that was absolutely devastating. So there you go. There's our three targets. Pretty impressive damage from shot shells or otherwise known as snake shot. So while it's not legal for me to show you the actual damaging effect on snakes with snake shot, uh, I can definitely show you the damaging effect on other targets. And so maybe we'll continue to do these episodes. If you have a target in mind that you'd like to see the damaging effect of shot shells on, go ahead and leave a comment below. Tell me what you'd like to see next. All right, we'll see you next time on the Homestead.